Are you struggling with the Silver Apocalypse Challenge with Phasmophobia? Then look no further. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best settings for this challenge. It is a pretty hard challenge, but with these settings, you can investigate all three evidences without even getting hunted. So first, I'm gonna play one game to get the Silver Trophy and give you some tips. And after that, we're gonna look at the settings for it. But without further ado, let's hop into this challenge. All right, guys, we have a Carlos Smith here and three objectives with a blow out the candle, a ghost event and motion sensor, which are actually pretty good. So we're going to go in with smudge the candle and a lighter. The reason why I'm taking a candle now instead of parabolic mic is for the first hunt. If it's Diochen, you don't want to go in without the light. So you want to have uh, you want to have a candle so you can see something because i mean if you're amazing at uh, evading idios in darkness then go for it i prefer some sort of light so i know where to go so first we are going to go in to the left side here to this office because this is uh, your best uh, way to evade the around around this table for now, it seems we don't have a deal, though. It should already come for us at lightning speed. So, Dio is out. Dio, Dio's, if you don't know, are the ghosts that always find you. Wherever you are. They're gonna find you. Let's quickly just walk around and listen for the ghost. That might already give us some clues where the ghost is running, uh, hunting at. Maybe we hear something over here, the chapel. You know, you will hear uh, outside noises, like in the courtyard. Maybe even kitchen if you're lucky. Don't hear anything, so I'm gonna assume it's in one of the wings. So there's a few ghosts that you don't want to get for this challenge, guys. Um, one of them is uh, li or like the sanity dropping ghosts because we are basically doing the same thing as we uh, i've done in the 15x with the 15x settings i'm gonna link that uh, uh, tutorial by the way in the top right corner if you want to watch that you haven't beaten the 15x yet i mean you can straight go to the 20x if you want to right you don't have to do the 15x but it's basically the same concept we are trying to uh, get all the free evidences without getting hunted. So any ghost that drops sanity crazily, like the poltergeist, is bad. Um, poltergeist drops sanity by things that are being thrown in your line of sight. And that is really bad, so you should get out if you get that. And uh, probably reroll, right? I would totally reroll, there's no shame in it. Just reroll and get a better ghost. Okay, still hunting. Let's go to the other side. We are here on the right side right now. The same goes, by the way, for Chin. Chin can silently drop your sanity by 25%. If you have an uh, indication that it is Chin, leave. <laughs> by all means, just leave. And we roll. And the uh, same goes for you, Ray. You raise, though, you will actually notice uh, the sanity drop, right? If it closes the door fully, it can drop your sanity 50 by 14% approximately. And uh, so you may want to reroll with Yura as well. And you want to reroll if you get a demon or an Onryo, because these two can hunt at any sanity. And they will just destroy you. Right? Because you are running around with a candle, really bad for Onryo. And demon is just. It's gonna be your nightmare. It's gonna be your downfall. And the same thing, usually, uh, I would highly recommend you reload till you get good objectives. Objectives, like if you want to survive, try to get objectives that have nothing to do with hunts, right? Like no crucifix, um, no uh, escape, no repel. If you have these three, not so good. So try to uh, avoid those as, at all costs and just reload till you get a good one. There's no shame in it. So let's listen if we can hear something over here. If it even hunts. If it's a teleporting ghost, by the way, also really bad. 
at least during the hunting phase uh, afterwards not that much right but technically if you get a wraith uh, the teleports to you it can instantly kill you and it does that a lot at this uh, with these settings unless you've taken pills um and the same goes for phantom and the same goes for banshees so it is hunting right now but i can't hear anything all right let's wait for till it stops hunting and then we go back to take the parabolic mic now it stopped hunting we can move the light switch again right that's how we figure out if it's hunting or not there we go all right i think uh after this hunt is done we're gonna go we grab some pills some items and then we're gonna figure out what ghost this is so i'm gonna go back probably uh through the darkness i'm gonna leave this stuff over here for now we don't need it and i'm probably gonna cut in again once we are uh at the truck guys all right guys i'm gonna take three pills which brings me up to 90 percent sanity which is pretty good i would say right uh let's go in with that with candle here we're gonna use this candle to go back and forth and not use uh lose any sanity right you want to stay at the 90 percent as much as possible so i'm gonna drop this lighter over here uh this one here as well we're gonna take the candle for now actually we're gonna take this one here and the book and the candle and let's go we already have some stuff back there and uh, now we just technically need to investigate what ghost this is right we have a suspicion that it is smiling so i'm going to bring in the evidence for miling since this ghost was so quiet during a hunt and uh if you have problems finding the ghost like that very likely a miling so we're gonna go in with that and see what it is I am, uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to approach the ghost with a camera, though. So I'm going to drop all the evidence items near the ghost. I'm just going to observe where the ghost is, right? Where it's interacting with stuff. And then we are going to, maybe it's going to show itself and then we can just snap a ghost photo already. That would be cool. We have a smart stick here, an EMF and a UV light as well. I'm going to bring this closer to the ghost room as well later. Not too far away from where it's at. It definitely used uh, a sink over there. So here we go. There's the candle. So I am going to drop uh, the book for now over here. Uh, and we're just going to go in with a lighter and a candle. Now uh, we're coming closer. Hi. Hello, are you here? No freezing. Not in this room. What about the washing room? Over here. No freezing, okay. Now the question is, is the ghost in here or over there? I would actually say it's over here. Most likely. Stop the lighter down. Let's ref refresh the light on the candle so it's not gonna go out immediately and we're gonna grab the other evidence items and bring it to that room it's a bit of a distance we need to walk all the time right but uh <sighs> better slow and steady than dead <laughs> all right uh, i think we quickly gonna get the emf as well let's grab the other two items over here the uh, fingerprints are not going to stay for too long also we have a very low fingerprint chance set up for this challenge but uh that just means you need to try it multiple times to see if it's fingerprints that's a bit unfortunate but it is uh, it is what it is right and so let's go with these two first and see where it's interacting with stuff we must get emf from this Give me five. There we go. Easy game, right? Let's get the book over here, guys. Dear Ghosty, you can write into that, please. We would appreciate that. Oh, we have writing. 
Are you here? Where are you? Ah! So it was actually a spirit, not a miling. Interesting. There we go. It triggered the, the, the sensor. There we go. Got a nice picture. Thank you very much, good sir, and uh, have a good one. <laughs> Look at it. It uh, basically... <laughs> The only thing it took us, guys, was waiting. The only thing I did was just hanging out in the ghost room. It took me uh, like five, t five to ten minutes just waiting in the ghost room till we get a ghost event. That's all. Right? It's just a waiting game with these settings. And uh, there we go. We actually got the ghost. We got uh, all three objectives. And we got the ghost photo. Which means at uh, 20x a silver trophy silver apocalypse trophy successfully gained right and that's how you do it um it's actually quite easy again you don't have to do the first part if you want to just go uh, straight up with the, your sanity and then just do, do do a normal investigation go for it right try it if it works better um i usually just like to uh listen where the ghost is starting at uh I like uh, being in danger, right? But just try both a little bit. See what uh, fits best for you. And uh, yeah, also don't hesitate to reset if you get a bad ghost. Like a demon or something. Um, you don't want that, trust me. <laughs> you can't run away. You, you will see the settings afterwards. You cannot run away from these ghosts. It's just not possible, right? So there we go. Goodbye candle, goodbye lighter, goodbye cam. We don't need you anymore. We are back in the truck. And we are leaving with Max over there. Into the sunset. Or sunrise. <laughs> there we go, we got all three objectives, right? We got the ghost locked in as a spirit. And uh, we go back. There we go, spirit at 20 x and uh, we got all the things so you will get the silver trophy for this and uh, quite some money i also did some uh, sync photos there look at the money we get it's 1.7k for this crazy stuff that is uh, that is something right all right we're gonna go out and we're gonna see what settings we have um and there we go so best thing you do is to uh Go to 24x, take that as a preset. If you don't have that already as a preset, just go for it as a preset. Starting sanity, sanity is going to be zero. Sanity pill restoration is going to be at 30. So you move the, that up to 30. Um, sanity drain speed is normal at 200. It's going to be max, right? Uh, sprinting is off. Player speed is 50, right? It's also normal at 24x. Flashlights off. Lose items on death is on. Uh, which you can circumvent by leaving the game during the animation. Uh, ghost speed is 150, right? That's also normal for a 24x game. Roaming frequency high, normal. Changing favorite room high, normal. Uh, interaction amount low, normal is, as well. Uh, event frequency, that one I actually changed to high, so we get more ghost events. Uh, that's actually the highest you can go. So we should get more ghost events with that. Friendly ghost off. Grace period zero. Normal. Hunt duration high. Normal as well. And we can give ourselves free evidence items. Right? That is going to set us uh, to 20. If we are moving fingerprints chance to the lowest. Which is 25%. And fingerprint duration also to the lowest which is 15 seconds, right? If you do that, then you get uh, a 20 reward multiplier. I think we haven't changed anything here. Setup time zero, uh, weather heavy rain, doors starting open high, number of hiding spots none, sanity monitor off, activity monitor off, fuse box uh, at the start of the contract broken, fuse box visible on map off. So these settings are all normal for 24K, uh, 24X, uh, by the way, if you want to have a sanity monitor, you could technically 
um, move the event frequency to uh, to the middle, right? Move it one down, and then you have enough points to get uh, the sanity monitor if you want that. That means you might have to just wait longer for a ghost event, but you have a sanity monitor, right? If you want that, uh, you can do that. But uh, yeah, that was basically the 20x uh, modifier, and that's how you can get the silver trophy. Uh, let me know in the comments, guys, if you already got this challenge or if you're going to try it with these settings. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, all these patrons. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. Mwah. Big schmutz. Mm -hmm.